Hello, till we're back with Agrarian Skies 2. So, we don't have any food again. Ouch. So, I'll continue with our setup here. And let's craft some patterns and try to fix this. Uh, Let's see, how are we gonna do this? So here... Water shard... So you should craft water shards if we don't have any in the system. But we have water shards in the system, so it's not doing anything. And same with the other ones later. Uh, so let's clonk down more routers here. And I was thinking maybe... I'll just make another redstone furnace here. How much sand is coming into our system? It's not that much. That's one more. We should have one that just pumps in can I? Let's see. I want to see. Output on the top. Hmm. Let's see here. Now it's connected here, so if he has out input on the right, that's not good. Is there any slot we're not using? No, it was left before, right? I want to see if this works. Can I use an item though? Uh, and servo. Where did our other servo go then? So why? What? Oh, I'm just doing craft some. Can I just pull from there? I, I don't remember if this is possible. Sand. You cannot pull directly from an M interface, right? I have to put the uh, extractor. Um, and then... So we could do that though. If I put uh, it here, it here somewhere. Just to keep this going. Do you have a uh, or import? No, no extract. Export? No export. 
It's called Export Bus. Essential Exports Bus. ME Export Bus. Here we have it. And you export sand. And output on top. You're hooked up to the router, right? So let's hook up these guys as well then. Here we haven't specified yet. What we want. I hope we even we have um, enough. More dense cables might not be needed just yet. No, we're, we're quite conservative with the cables, so that's quite okay. Pumping into this interface. Shouldn't you? No, I don't have more cables. pump something into yeah but pump it into the system then do I need really to put import buses on these guys I don't think so okay we have this as input But this one goes back and forth. It crafts, and uh, it's only crafting that comes back. Uh, well, we have import here as well. Import. So where should we send everything? Just to a chest. But if I. sure about this. Let's make another import bus and see. And actually I right click with the, I clicked V, press V for quell or uh, to power. And I right accidentally clicked on our silver tree and it destroyed a node and everything. <laughs> it was quite easy. It chops, it chops like 9 by 9 or something. <laughs> I was ridiculous. I should be careful with this axe. Actually. I know that this one should still be there.
import. Do I need some other interface here? Because this is for... No, this one is for export. Can it export directly to a chest? So I don't need these extra utilities then. Wait here, but this one should import. Okay, okay, we... Uh, why is my brain not working? What am I doing wrong? This is the output. So the output, I guess, directly. It's extracts. Output is wrong. It is extracting. But it's not uh, in. Okay, let's do like this then. So maybe I was correct. But. Now I'll not be able to open this chest. Should I have it? Why am I doing this complicated? I will not be able to open the chest. I want to be able to open the chest, I guess. What? Well, he doesn't have an input on this side anyway, right? You know, it's okay. So he's... Okay, that works. And now, let's see if I can... This will make sense then. Take the import bus. They're connected. I think any interface should be connected like that to each other. But what am I doing? This puts into this one, but if I use an import bus then directly here, stop everything, <laughs> stop the presses. Am I overcomplicating this? Remove these guys. Let's see, are we getting glass? I mean, I saw with the item transfer that I can imp 
import with from the top right with the transfer node three forty nine is definitely not doing anything. <sighs> what the hell? Is it because these guys are, aren't really connected? Let's try that again. Just I'm being really weird now. There's no glass coming in. So screw it. So get back with you. Fill it up with glass. Importing anything. What's going on? And now it's importing. No, it's not. Import. Am I using the right? No, it's it is import. I haven't specified anything here. Is it sending to to an inventory that's not connected? It's some kind of loop now. Maybe these have to be directed down because they're glitching. still in a loop super confusing really really confusing what is this glitch all right I think we leave it for now this is some off-camera digging to try to fix that um, we want to make our silver wand, I guess. Let's see what kind of caps we can apply. Thaumium wand caps would be nice. So let's make some thaumium then. Start with 16 maybe. 
Need a lot of magic. Start with eight then. Very nice. And some uh, caps. Elementum caps. What the hell? There are way more uh, better caps we can make. We don't have that yet, so fine. Actually, we want to make grout as well. And smelt that down. Um, Inert, charged. Charged thomium cap. So one five. I need an eighteen nugget at least. So first we need just to craft it. Infusion crafting. Arcane infusion. What's what's the difference here? Yeah, let's put the nougats together like that, see if it helps. Why is this one glitching? It isn't gift. I don't know what's going on. Is this no one? Oh, it's offline, right? We have plenty of power coming in. 1616. 16. Like, why should there not be enough power? Okay, I have to look up that as well. We have so much power. Still some upgrades we ha haven't done. Inert th okay. Inert thomium cap. And how do we do them with the So I need to charge them. So we need Salismondus. Let's check that again. 
three, four, and six Salismundus. Aurum, we need Aurum as well. Seven. Eleven coming in here, okay. One, two, three should be there for maybe. It's draining now. It is actually draining. Oh, it's working. So we had a channel problem here. Okay, so then let's um, go directly from this. Uh, let's screw that guy. But that didn't work. That works, okay, that works as well, but it's very slow, but we can upgrade that, and I guess these are not needed either. That's even faster for some reason. Yes, that's what we wanted to do. <laughs> right. Right. So now it's working as I wanted it to be. Great, that's really great. So you can cook up some glass for us. Yep, you can cook up a few thousand glass, should be nice. Um, that's good, some more assemblers are needed here I think. We not haven't put in too much, many items, and we need more assemblers around, the, around these guys. Let's have at least two setups of these guys. Um, should make some more smart cables. We can keep track of how many. Oh, the dense cable actually keeps track as well. Here we're on the limit already. So can we see one, two? All right, so you need to become dense cables from the controller and then they can uh, branch out basically. Okay, good to know. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Ugh. Some craziness going on there. Now it's... I think we need a pulverizer up here as well, when you just quickly need to pulverize something. You are still offline. So, 
we might have a channel problem over there as well then. So let's make some dense cables then. Covered cable. Let's do... Oh, that's all our wool. <laughs> And then dense cable. Three? <gasps> it's expensive. Pretty sure there's another way to get wool than this. With string. Or was it really this way we made wool? No, there, yeah. Regular string. So, bring in some wool there. Make some more dense cable actually. Uh, should make a stack of this actually. I think we have resources for it as well. Six. Okay. So let's branch out this one as well. Until here. And branch out here. Oh, we have two more. Not a smart cable. Let's keep track on this network as well then. Five channels, five channels. Yay! We fixed all our issues. Great. Now it's time to soon clean up here as well. Maybe get some new floor in. I don't know. Uh, we'll see that next time. Bye-bye.